welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is aphrodite and this is aphrodite's house i've switched up the rooms that i'm in today i'm filming in a different room um still trying to get comfortable on camera but you know it is what it is also i have myself up on like the big monitor so if you see me looking that way it's because i i have a really hard time looking at myself and i always tend to look beyond myself but now I actually have to look at myself. So yeah, we're just gonna start with a light cleansing. Um, today's video, if you didn't know it, is a world update video. I've been kind of putting it off for some time now. Um, I wanted to wait until I felt like the energy was gonna be the best like received um, by me in particular. Like I get so scatterbrained about world updates so pretty much what's going to be happening here, here is i'm going to be talking about some things just getting some information from um, my spirit team on the other side who's kind of just lingering around i also have tarot to kind of clarify some of the things that are causing me confusion um, so with that being said, I think this video might be torn up into a couple parts in terms of world updates. The first thing that we're going to have is more of a, just in general, collective update, um, about some of the energies you need to be looking out for, um, food suggestions and things of that nature. And then the second part will be more, um, towards like occult stuff, just, energetic updates things we um don't need to be we shouldn't be focused on but probably are um things of that nature so i cleansed myself before i even set foot on camera so while i was um setting up and getting everything going i i did i cleansed myself but now we're just gonna cleanse the energy and the air because i don't normally um, read in this room. This is where I spend a good chunk of my day going through other stuff, other forms of work. So I got to make sure that the, it's, I'm really particular about my cleansing. So with that being said, um, the very first thing that I want to talk about in terms of, um, just a collective update is the loss of friends a lot of us may feel like it's time to move um, beyond a particular friendship it's quite possible that the friendships that we were in were allowing us to stay stuck in patterns that allowed us to feel comfortable and it's great that we have friends who make us feel comfortable and safe and at home but I think you know there's been these times where we just didn't want to see that the friendship was enabling enabling us a little too much and when that happens spirit kind of needs to separate us because you know even though the journeys may somewhat be the same you don't want to be too comfortable and end up relying on this person for everything this doesn't mean that you guys have conflicting energies this doesn't mean that you guys don't like each other that you guys aren't close anymore a lot of the times it just means that there's more lessons that need to be learned um, cycles that need to be closed out and you're probably enabling each other in ways that are preventing you from fully um, closing out some of those cycles so you end up repeating them but the good news is once these lessons are learned like the really really hard ones the friendship you guys can you know go back to how things were it was never an instance of yeah, let me get the higher right here. It was never an instance of you guys not um, not getting along or clashing. This could have been something as simple as this preventing you from moving forward in your spiritual journey. Um, you know, when you cling to a particular friendship or a particular friend group and you don't make room for anything else, you have no clue what you're missing out on. You could be missing out on connections that you were supposed to be, you know, getting into and giving all of your time to especially new friendships these are so important um i got the ace of wands in reverse here on the hermit yeah 
you wanted to dedicate yourself to something but ended up dedicating it to the wrong things missing out on opportunities and in the long run isolating yourself because you didn't really know what to do next you didn't know where to go from here queen of cups in reverse here oh no seven of wands reversed yeah queen of wands reversed oh my goodness delayed communication delayed gratification lack of communication ace of pentacles upright you potentially missed out on good money opportunities as well because you were so stuck in being comfortable and sticking with what you know that you you just you missed out on things that really could have pushed you into a brand new environment this is speaking collectively wise so if it doesn't resonate don't make it resonate with you this is just this is what spirit is telling me there could have been so many opportunities you know when you don't spend as much time with someone or you know stop doing a particular thing it leaves room for you to maybe go out and explore and uh, ten of cups reverse yeah you're just you missed a lot i mean damn tower card and the wheel of fortune <laughs> split the deck open so in other words spirit may make it so that you kind of have to take a break from this person so please don't take it personal if someone that you know in your life kind of backs off or needs space or needs a break and don't be upset to tell them that you need this too it could be something as simple as you needing to go somewhere you needing to go somewhere for a day or two spending time away from everyone relaxed and just really meditating and figuring out where you want to go next writing these things down setting these goals and these intentions and really figuring out how to stick to them um spirit what does the collective need to know in terms of just more money making opportunities are coming in terms of your work environment depending on where you are um spirit is breaking this down those of you who are in corporate jobs can expect to receive some type of raise those of you who are self-employed will be getting more money opportunities in the form of investments and ideas i'm hearing blessed and highly favored with ideas it seems like a lot of us are on the same it seems like a lot of us it seems like a lot of us are in on the same wavelength of using uh, the higher knowledge that we've accumulated and um taking a more traditional approach with the knowledge that we have in creating an environment or a safe space for people that will be highly profitable. So this could be things like outreach programs, therapy programs, um, things of that nature that even might have a spiritual component to them. Um, that's kind of the wavelength that I've been on. So if you've been on the same, wa same wavelength and you've noticed that in your community there aren't enough of these types of spaces for people of color specifically because i am i am black <laughs> um email me because i was just speaking with one of my friends the other day about how there aren't enough of these sacred spiritual spaces um where we can have these because where i am it's mostly like the really nice shops but they're all run by like white people and there's nothing wrong with that i think that when it comes to things like hoodoo voodoo you know even um some of the other traditions that you know we may be into or studied around things like that we need an actual space and i know that there are some spaces and they're just not talked about you know obviously that they don't want to be well broadcasted but i do think that especially where i am there needs to be more of a sense of like community for these it seems like 
there's there's a lot of spiritual black and black and brown people or just people of color in general you know but um who go through these things of there's nobody like me around here you know i always have to go to these spiritual shops but they, they never really have what i need um so if you're you're on that wavelength get shoot me an email please because these are things that i've been thinking about as well um that's in terms of like self-made individuals okay. do we have anything in terms of content creators content creators need to push your product more seeing how you're the product <laughs> and push yourself more definitely get yourself more out there that's literally what i'm doing as well um putting my face out there more doing more like actual readings with my face where you can see me get more of my vibe and my aura um it is very difficult or it was very difficult for me to be this comfortable on camera um dealing with shadow work and trauma therapy reiki removing things getting new att attunements and so on has made it so that i feel uh, slightly more comfortable um again we have the five of wands in reversed and the high priestess upright using your intuition using your intuition and the knowledge you've been gifted to stay out of sticky situations to stay out of situations that no longer call for your energy we have moved into a space of no longer needing to give people our time or our energy or our response we are pushing ourselves as the product we are pushing ourselves as the individuals who you know, are, are working hard for us, who are working hard for our future, learning and educating ourselves to build generational wealth as well as spiritual and emotional wealth. Um, we're not um, allowing ourselves to be stuck in this space of indecision and acting like we don't understand our intuition. Um, and it's so funny because as I'm sitting here talking about this, I'm sitting here with, with bismuth. Um, which I was told to get by one of my, by one of my, excuse my nails, by one of my spirit guides while I was, um, dreaming, you know, astral projecting. Um, they were telling me to get a piece of bismuth and then I learned what it was, I learned what it was for afterwards and it was just so fitting. So if you're thinking about it, get yourself a piece of bismuth. I have many because it, it broke off into so many so many pieces and so now I'm trying to figure out what to do with all of them I wanted to wear bismuth but it's so depending on how it was treated it's so fragile um just get some water here because it's a lot of energy yeah so that's what I see collectively splitting the deck in the middle we have the four of wands here which is a great way to end things collectively um okay so now we're gonna get into the really juicy stuff in terms of world updates we're gonna get into there's been a lot of celebrity drama spirit says celebrity drama is not the hard focus it's the distraction um we knew this of course but this is just further confirmation that um it was in fact the distraction so the MGK and Megan Fox stuff, don't pay it any mind. Um, especially pay attention, but don't pay it any mind. So celebrities who will be pushing more of a spiritual agenda, there's a reason for this. Pay attention to who's using more occultism, occult symbolism and spiritual spiritualism in the things that they do, like music or photos or things like that. Just pay attention. Um it's very likely that they're kind of who you need to steer clear of within that moment. They've got something going on or they're just using that knowledge or that symbolism to draw you in to think that they're doing something and then you've wasted your precious energy on them. Um, energy works more. Um, my eyes may be closed for a little bit here. I'm just, it's a lot of energy and I'm just...
you ever have those moments where it's so much energy coming in from all sides that you need to just clothe yourself and shut the fuck up? (laughs) You don't want to get sucked in by the things that you see. They're kind of banking on the fact that you are driven. And one other really amazing spiritualist who I whose content I really enjoy, she was kind of saying the same thing. Yes, a lot of people in the industry do have people who work for them or they themselves are initiated into some things. And others will just use the, the direct symbolism to draw you in because they know it's going to get you to pay attention. Peep what's going on, but don't give it your energy. They're counting on the fact that you give a decent amount of your energy. Your energy is your life source. Once it's gone and you've given it to something else or someone else, that's what you've done with it. That's where you've placed it. Now, we can call back in our energy and recenter ourselves and reground ourselves, but it's best to learn these... So that just happened. That just happened and I have no clue what that was. So that happened. Uh, When I went into the kitchen, my knife, my butcher knife, um, like I have a, I have a knife for when I, uh, cut up things like a real like a butcher knife from the Asian market and wow that bitch just flew across the floor (laughs) I'm okay all right that was interesting but on with the show I'm not I mean I can't be bullied into silence (laughs) I can't be bullied into silence that or it was just a happy accident Not everything is spiritual. Some things just happen. I do have the window open in there, but that's a heavy-ass knife. You know? I don't know. I don't know about that one, Chief. We're going to get some dragon's blood going in here. I like to keep something burning at all times when I'm doing these types of readings. And this is exactly why. Okay. Anyways, back to my semi-meditative state, because that's what was happening when that happened. Um... Let's just recenter for the information. My world updates. Oh, yes. They're banking on the fact that you will give your energy to that. So just, you know, be very careful. Um, World updates. Health is getting ready to be a big thing in the forefront once again. Spirit is suggesting more more fruits that are hydrating. Um, so in particular, we've got strawberries, we've got mangoes. You were telling me stuff earlier. Avocados. Blueberries. Pineapple. Hydrating and nourishing to the flesh, inside and out, high in antioxidants. Something about... Oh, clearing and cleansing the blood or um, keeping the blood running smoothly to prevent blood clots. Um, Carrying enough oxygen through your veins as well. So your blood's not moving slow, getting thick, getting clotted. Take a break from the chicken, especially if you're in the Ohio area like I am. We had that terrible, terrible... Uh, train derail meat's gonna be a little spotty lately so when you notice that it starts to go down in price especially in low income areas that's where you need to be wary of the meat you might not realize that it's the chicken that's somewhat making you sick Um, just for general reference I'm channeling here I'm not a doctor I don't work for the FDA I'm just you know this is just this is what I'm hearing from my sources of knowledge and um speak to a doctor don't take my word for it you know you don't have to you know i'm just the the (laughs) i like that spirit (laughs) i'm the woo woo the auntie the woo woo auntie at the end of the street (laughs) 
with the wind chimes and the crazy music and um, food cooking on the weekends for the whole block. I'm that lady. So, you know. Um, even fish, be weary of salmon. Not all the salmon is true salmon. I think there was someone who talked about that at one point. About how chemically engineered salmon made with real salmon and made all the salmon and now salmon's not really sa I don't know. Spirit is just saying weary of the salmon too. Um, crab is weirdly okay. Like they're, they, gave, they gave me a thumbs up. Tuna, but very particular tuna. Not in the water, in the oil. Okay. Oh, or whole tuna. Making sure to eat um, more of the like lesser known fish here in America. If you're tuning in here in America, I don't know where everyone else is from. So the, the fish might be more uh, popular in your location. But things like mackerel, things you can really just fry up very easily. Um, eat it eat it in all of its deliciousness they're saying don't waste any parts of the fish when you're done obviously you can get rid of the bones and everything like that but the eyes and all that you can use that to make soups with that are heavy in garlic and ginger uh, burdock root and um, clove to make like a broth for if you're starting to feel a little sick and under the weather, especially upper re respiratory issues. Um, especially, especially if you're in these areas where we are dealing with toxins in the air heavily right now due to trucks tipping over, trains derailing, all of that shit. You need to make sure that you have all of your home remedies, especially if you're into herbalism or you know someone who's heavy into herbalism, get a book, study about the herbs that are going to be really good for upper respiratory, proper blood flow, um, things that are going to be good that are like high in iron, um, and magnesium, but aren't going to be overwhelming and too much and difficult for you to process, um, which is why a lot of us tend to just make these teas or broths that'll last us a good couple of months um to help uh to to help prevent things like uh like sickness and uh and or deal with it once it's here i'm trying to think is there anything else you would like for me to convey you didn't talk a lot about the occult it seems like there's it seems like there's a lot more happening in the physical that we need to be worried about versus the occult right now um, the, the occult's going to come back in a heavy, heavy kind of way that's going to have everyone's attention. And that's exactly why our attention needs to s somewhat be elsewhere. Like, be aware of what's going on. Peep what's going on. Because, you know, game recognizes game. So just make sure you understand what's going on. But make sure that your energy is in grounding yourself, maintaining your home, your children, your loved ones, yourself. This, these, this is going to be so, so, so important. And, um, you know, it all starts with, with you, um, you being rooted, you being grounded, you being properly connected and attuned, um, so that you're not behind, you're not lacking behind. Um, is there anything else? I'm just gonna, very talkative, um, in terms of like the metaphysical, spiritual, esoteric, all that good stuff, you know, um, make sure you're cleansing yourself, make sure you're taking your spiritual baths, make sure you're drinking your tea, um, make sure you're talking to your guides before bed and stop expecting things to happen. This is very specific for a few of you who believe that your guides just kind of come and drop gems and leave. I don't think a lot of you realize that the pattern here is that you asked for these gems and then they dropped them off to you. So keep talking to them before bed, asking them to give you information. They'll give you, they'll give you the information. King of Swords in person. And Justice Upright, Ace of Swords in reverse. Oh. 
Knight of Wands in reverse. Whoops, excuse me. Five of Cups up right. Mm. Mm. Spirit says, why do you keep allowing yourself to be derailed by people who you feel have more power than you? When we consistently prove to you that you have all of the power, you hold all of the cards, why do you continue to give it up to these people who you think have more power than you and they don't? And they don't. You don't allow yourself to go forward. You keep allowing yourself to feel bad. You keep allowing yourself to believe that someone else has control over the over a situation that you have no full while you have all the power in if you would speak up and do something about it. Oh my god, I kid you not. The order in which these cards came out and the temperance the temperance. The three of wands in reverse. I believe that's the Ten of Pentacles. Is that the Ten of Pentacles? It is. And Judgment. Alright. Yeah. Peace, Balance, and Harmony. Someone keeps reiterating to me there is no third party. Stop thinking that. You're you're creating blockages first. You're derailing yourself in these situations. What the hell is going on here? I don't know how we scoot scooted do 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 it on into love, but there's no third party situation here. Whatever this is about, spirit is telling me that there is no third party situation here. So all these cards flipped out, right? Why are you doing this to yourself? Oh my God. <laughs> you would literally delay communication with someone because you think that there's someone else. You would literally make the situation tougher than it is. For no reason. There's not even anything happening to you. You're literally allowing the analytical mind to take control of every situation. Believing that it's your intuition telling you that there's another person here. There is another person here. It's you. There are three people who consist in this relationship. You, your higher self, and your partner. And what's happening is you in the physical is allowing for the lower aspects of yourself to maintain control over this relationship. Your higher self is trying to intervene and help you. And the person you're with is kind of just like, what the fuck is your problem? <laughs> I love you. Don't you see that? And then below the deck is Page of Pentacles. But it's the way it's sometimes... It's not always the, that's funny. Sometimes it's not always the card itself is the imagery. You can see this guy's like offering this pentacle, right? That's kind of how I see it. And that's funny because that's what I was saying. What's wrong with you? Don't you get it? I love you. I mean, like they may show their love in the form of like gifts. They might be a gift giver and you might see that as a red flag. What are you hiding? Why are you blowing so much money on me? bitch because why not i love you i just said that he i want you to have everything don't you get that don't you get that i guess collectively a good chunk of the collective is going through that and needed to hear that i mean otherwise like i wouldn't have love wouldn't have squeezed its way in here but i i am aphrodite i do aphrodite was one of the first energies I was so eager to work with my online name for everything was Aphrodite before I even was fully into anything spiritual um she's definitely a a whirlwind she she will definitely teach you about the energy of Aphrodite will definitely teach you about self-love um the magician as above so below be careful about what you send out into the universe. That's what you're going to manifest. There is no third party. There are no issues, but you will continue to manifest issues if you if you don't get it together. Especially with this uh, this King of Wands here, who who really just wants to 
give it to you. Yeah. Turning down options. You were the only option. Oh, look at that. Total emotional fulfillment. Total emotional fulfillment. Stop playing with this person. Please stop. Don't do this to them. Oh my God, please don't do this. <laughs> Total emotional fulfillment. And this is supposed to be just a world update. Take that leap of faith and just be happy and shut up. I'm not, I'm not reading anymore. I'm not doing it. I'm not reading anymore on love. We're done with love. Please stop. Because that was the perfect way to end this. Tell the collective about something else, please. We talked about money. We talked about health. We talked about occultism, kind of. At this point, oh, Queen of Swords. Know when to say when, even when it comes to yourself. So at this point, I mean, that's pretty much what I've got. I don't really think I need to go any further into anything else. I think we did pretty good here. I'm not sure about the lighting or anything for this video. Like I said, this was a new setup. Um, so if it's not good or you don't like it, I apologize. I'm still trying to figure out what works for me in terms of just sitting and being comfortable on camera. But I hope that the world update video will prove to be helpful to someone who really needs the information. And I hope I was helpful. Um, so thank you to my guides who came in to share the information that needed to be shared. Um, thank you to everyone who tuned in. Um, yeah, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.